Thank you for watching WISD TV. My name is Dale Caffey with more of what's making news at Waco ISD. I'm on the campus of University High School in the Black Box Theater where students are getting ready for an art exhibition. I'm with Heather Hughes. She's the art teacher at University High School. Tell me a little bit about the art show. Well, we wanted to give the community and students and staff here at University High School a chance to celebrate with our student successes. This exhibit features work that our students within the Fine Arts Department have been working on for the entire fall semester of 2012, and we are super excited about it. You cover a lot of ground, too. Talk about the different varieties of art that will be on display here. Okay, we have sculpture here, we have painted portraits, we have pop art done in a variety of mediums, we have large scale portraits done by groups of students, and we also have some guest work brought in by our feeder school students from Cesar Chavez Middle School. How exciting. Uh, now are these first, second year art students or a combination of both? We have art one students, art two students, and then we have sixth and seventh and eighth grade student work from Cesar Chavez Middle. Well, talk about being an art teacher, especially taking a student who's pretty raw, uh, has not d had an art class before maybe, and you see that student growing in year one, year two, uh, until they're producing some very fantastic looking artwork. We take our incoming freshmen or students from 10th, 11th, 12th grade who have an opportunity to take a fine arts course and we give them a chance to explore their creative side. They come to us at all different levels, and we simply take them from where they are and give them an opportunity to grow. What is it that you like most about being a high school art teacher? I love watching children enjoy the creative processes that they have an opportunity to do in the classroom. I give them a chance to express themselves, and I love seeing the look on their face when they feel successful about something that they've done. Well, you have some students here who have had some success, and we're going to uh, take a look at some of those. In fact, we're going to walk around and, and talk to some of these students. Great. Okay, let's go over to the pop art wall and talk with a student here who had a product. Uh, first of all, your name. It's Joe Lewis. Hi, Joe. Uh, tell me a little bit about the process in making pop art. Uh, making pop art is like just a bunch of bright colors just repeating itself in different patterns and the same picture or design that you want in different places just in bright colors. Tell me a little bit about what you like most about taking art classes here at University High School. I understand you're a second year art student. No, I'm a first year art. The, like, the things I like about taking art is about showing my feelings and expressing how I feel in art and stuff like that. Great. So you're only a first year student. I had that wrong. Uh, are you planning to continue art uh, even after you leave high school uh, or something you're going to continue to delve in? Um, maybe I might continue in doing art and probably trying to go on and do designs for buildings and stuff like that. Great. And this is a great start. You love art? Yes. Great. Congratulations and thank you for explaining a little bit about pop art. Now we're going to go over to the self-portrait wall. Some fantastic artwork over here by students. You're going to see behind this young lady and we're going to talk to her about self-portraits. First of all, give me your name. Um, Evelyn Castellano. Evelyn, tell me about what goes into the assignment of making the self-portraits that we see behind you. Well, the assignment we had to do was create self-portraits and we also had to choose three to five things that represented ourselves. Okay, so not only a picture of yourself, but things that you enjoy, things that, that uh, involve uh, your activities. Tell me a little bit about your particular self-portrait. Well, I painted the Eiffel Tower because I want to visit Paris someday. Mm -hmm. I painted music notes for my love of music, and I painted LA because that's where I'm from. Okay, you're from Los Angeles, right? Yes, sir. What finds you in Waco, Texas? Um, we have a couple family over here. Great. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me about your love of art and the art classes here at University High School. Well, it's a good experience. It helps, it helps us get better. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. It helps, it helps us get better at drawing and just, it's fun. Well, you did a fantastic job on yours because I want to let you know that uh, that does look like you. Uh, so you did a great job of drawing yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Now we're going to walk over and talk to another student, and it looks like he used some wire and all sorts of stuff to make this work of art. Uh, first of all, give me your name. My name is Carlos Arispe. 
Carlos, tell me a little bit about your artwork, and it's uh, right here beside you. Well, it was mainly inspired to do by a guy named Alexander Cadler, and he made he made those things called models, mod, mobiles. No, mobiles. Mobiles, and uh, you know he, and, you know he mainly used it to show things around like Earth and weight and balance and stuff like that. Like I made one that he inspired. Like on looking at his work, you know, inspired me to do one myself. And I made and I made one that's kind of like a windmill. I like to see, mm -hmm. but uh, it shows of light and wind. That's what I think of. Right. So because because if you had this out in the natural uh, in, in in the air out of this room, it would re react. Sunlight it would reflect. Wind would make it twirl. So it all does that reaction. Congratulations on a great work of art. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're going to move around to the mask wall now and talk to a student who made a mask. Uh, first of all, young lady, give me your name. My name is Justice McGowan. Justice, uh, tell me about the assignment of making a mask. Well, first, this, these masks are called paper mache, and like for you to make the mask, you have to get a styrofoam head and like get paste and strips of paper and start putting it on the styrofoam head. And like once the paper is sturdy, that's when you take it out and start sculpt, sculpting a theme and um, a theme and a. Well, ultimately, you have to paint it too and find your colors, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about yours. I want to. I, I think I see it up there. It looks like it's pink and it has hearts on it. Tell me about the mask you designed. Okay, like the reason that I did that is because like everybody need, needs love in their life, so that's why I did that. Wonderful. Now, are you satisfied with this first mask you made? Not really. Not really. Okay. We had a discussion off camera. I asked you why not. So tell me what you don't like about your mask. I mean, like, it's fine, but I think that I could have done, like, much more than what I did. Like, this is my first time, but, like, the next time I'm going to do it, I think I would like it. Right. So you're going to probably get a second chance at doing that, we hope anyway. And uh, just from having the experience of your first uh, opportunity to make a mask, uh, do you feel more experienced that, that the next time you're going to actually uh, enjoy the product that much more? Yes. Okay. Justice, thank you so much for explaining the mask process, and congratulations. Nice job. Okay, well, you saw the variety of artwork we have here at University High School. Has to make an art teacher proud, like Heather Hughes. Uh, you're, you're just beaming right now. Yeah, I'm so uh, this is the first art show of the year for these students, and uh, it's going to be successful. Talk about that. This is the first time that we have had such a large show like this on our campus, where we have gotten work from all three of our, our fine arts uh, teachers within this campus and given all of these students a chance to showcase their quality work. Also, this will be the first time that we've worked with the theater department. Mr. Price has been absolutely wonderful and his students have gotten together and they've worked on lighting and uh, positioning and gotten the room ready. So it's been a learning and rewarding experience for students in that department as well. Um, and it's just, we plan to make this an annual event. Mm -hmm. And this evening, we've actually opened this art exhibit up to the public. Mm -hmm. So we're having a reception from five to seven, and we're inviting the public and members of the community to come on out and celebrate with our students' successes. Well, a very much success here at University High School in the art department. We didn't touch on some of the murals hanging from the the wall like the one behind you if you could expound on that a little bit sure uh, this was an assignment that was done with mr settles and his students they took a portrait that was done of a person and then they got fragments of that portrait and each student worked on a small fragment of that portrait they didn't know what the end portrait looked like at all they were just working on the one part that was fragmented and given to them they reproduced it larger scale and then the group got together and put it all together to create these wonderful portraits that you see hang hanging here today so that's a, a teamwork art project definitely <laughs> Great. Well, Heather Hughes, congratulations on a fantastic fall semester and best of, look, best of luck on the show that you're having tonight. Thank you very much. We're very pleased to be here and we hope everyone enjoys this evening's reception. Once again, I'm at the University High School in the Black Box Theater for the art show by students here at University High School. Some fantastic artwork. My name is Dale Caffey. I'm at University High School where there are learners today, leaders tomorrow.